minimalist guide to getting the perfect jacket for traveling the world. The North Face, this guy, the North Face down jacket gets super small, perfect for traveling. I'll show you everything about it in the video. Just come on, check it out. What's going on guys? How's it going? Um, today, I'm gonna talk about this jacket. This coat is so much better than my old coat. Uh, when I leave Israel, I'm not gonna be using my old coat anymore, which is this guy. So this guy had for a year or two, really great coat, uh, don't get me wrong. I'll you know, probably send it to my brothers or something, um, you know, or donate it or something, whatever. But when I'm traveling, this thing takes up a lot of space. This thing's huge. This thing takes up like probably a good two or three pounds, almost two kilos of weight. Um, when you're traveling, it's not so bad if you're wearing it the whole time, if you're traveling the winter season, but those things, I enjoy it for riding motorcycles. I enjoy it for, uh, I really like this jacket, don't get me wrong, but I have a lot of good memories with it. But it is, um, when it comes to being a minimalist, it's just too much. It's too much, um, too much space, it takes up too much space for what I needed to do. And it does keep me warm, it's a great jacket and all. But uh, I got this guy, this North Face, and I'll put a link in the description box um, so you guys can check it out if you want to on Facebook. But it is, uh, it's great, great jacket. Um, what I really like about this thing, why I, I got it, is I looked for jackets like this for coats or um, kind of in between. Uh, liners and whatnot for a good six months or so and then I finally went to went to place and tried on a couple tried on a few different brands settled on this one because of how um, a few things actually it can compact which is the biggest deal I'll show you in a moment how it can compress down um, it's made of it's got down on the inside feathers on the inside it keeps it super warm they compress and then um, it is North Face which is a pretty good company but I don't know if you can see, see right there. but there's stop tear resistant little squares um, built into the material which I definitely prefer when it comes to my clothing. Uh, I think even my shirts like that stop tear resistant. Even my pants, yeah all my stuff's got stop tear resistant. I'll actually make a review on this shirt later on. It's Columbia and as well as the pants. They're lightweight, they dry quick. Um, you know, they're kind of a big deal when it comes to uh, washing your clothes as you travel and um, carrying light, light amount of stuff. But anyway, let's, let's go back to the jacket. So this guy, um, tried it on, was really comfortable. Um, you know, I trust the brand. And the big thing about if you're buying something for, you know, you only have one of something, like one jacket. Like I have two now, but I'm getting rid of the other one. And this one is... Uh, gonna be my only jacket for the next year or two. I don't know who knows how long um, But I I think it's much better to spend a little bit more to have something that's higher quality If you only have one thing than having a bunch of cheap things So I'm, I'm more about having higher quality things, but for the lesser price um, So anyway, let's go back into the jacket. Let's uh, we're gonna fold it up and put it into actually We're just gonna stuff it and it goes into the left pocket this left pocket's got a zipper on both sides. That's how you can tell which, which pocket it goes into. Um, it has a little tag that says stow, stow the North Face. And so basically you can just, you fold it up kind of, but I just kind of stuff it like this. All right, so there you go. That's, that's your, your coat. And it fits into a decently small space, but uh, it can get smaller and when, if I'm trying to have it really small in my bag when I'm flying or something, I will compact it down. And I have a lot of handkerchiefs and bandanas and whatnot, so you can make this thing relatively small, which is nice. Um, so you can wrap it up and you can make it a little bit smaller. But if you're storing it, um, I would leave it open like this because it'll, it won't damage the down or whatnot. Um, this is great because now you have your coat into a small space, you can tuck it away in your bag. It's not taking up as much space, nor near as much as that. Um, you can also use it for a pillow. If you're camping or something, you can lay it down and use it as a pillow or on a plane. 
as like a side pillow or something. But um, yeah, dude, I definitely recommend this coat. It's great. It's great for for backpacking. It's great for fall and light winters. I wouldn't go, you know, I'm obviously on a mountaineering expedition with it. It's some super cold weather, unless I had a lot of layers or did a lot of uh, cold training prior. But yeah, this is the, the North Face. I believe it's Series 800 uh, something jacket. I'll put it. I'll put it on the screen, and then I'll put it in the description box below. So if you guys want to check it out on Amazon, um, go for it. And if you actually buy it through my Amazon link, uh, my affiliate link, I will actually get a percentage of that. So that'd be sweet. Oh, I'd love a percentage. It would help support me in being able to travel more. Um, and the whole goal of this channel is to like. You know, document all my travels, document and teach people how to travel more. Um, but eventually, if I can just do this full time, that'd be that's the dream. Just like travel constantly and and take you guys along on, on all the adventures. All right, guys, uh, this has been NST Never Stop Traveling. Peace out.